What's up Average Dive fans, welcome back to another video. And there's something that I and other tech channels do regularly but subconsciously. We persistently review flagship phones and kind of forget about the budget end of things. Well, four months after owning the Redmi K70 Pro, I slapped my SIM card back in it last week and yes, if anything, my impressions of this device have only improved over time. Let's go. Now for those that aren't aware, the K70 Pro was the first phone that I reviewed in 2024 and it was just the start of this ever snowballing, just juggernaut of candy bar style phones. The amount of specifications, hardware, software, everything they can cram inside the devices, they are, and it's just been an incredible year. But I wanted to go back to where it all began this year and talk about the K70 Pro while keeping in mind that this device was under £500 and this particular half terabyte device that I own will be for sale, first come first serve, for £350. Yes, you heard me correctly, £350. Now let's talk about the specs. Externally, a 6.7 inch OLED 120 hertz display with 6 billion colors, HDR10+, Dolby Vision, stereo speakers, just an absolute beast when it comes to specs on the display for the price point. Now continuing with the hardware, if most, if not all, sub £500 phones come with dual cameras, a main and an ultra wide. But the K70 Pro comes with a triple camera setup, 50 megapixel wide, 50 megapixel two times optical telephoto with zoom shots, anything up to five or six times, almost lossless past that. It does get a bit, you know, patchy. And then a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens. Now this being read me slash basically show me, you get fantastic post-processing on images. As you can see here, these were all taken from this budget device. And video recording wise, 8K on the rear, 4K 60, 1080p up to 960 frames per second. You can even go up to like 1920 frames per second slow motion at 720p. I wouldn't recommend that though. I would stick with the 4K where possible. 4K 60, you know, you can slow that down and still keep some really good quality. Now the one area I will say that it's lacking camera wise is a front facing camera. It's 1080p, 16 megapixel. However, keep in mind that the Vivo X100 Pro on release was also 1080p and it was about £300 more expensive than this device. Now as far as other hardware, if you want to call them that, USB-C, 3.1 gen on here, 120 watts charging, yes, 120 watt charger included in the box that will come to you if you buy, USB-A to Type-C cable, it's just an absolute monster when it comes to charging. You can get this one from dead, I mean flatlined, to 100% in less than 20 minutes. If you are a wireless charging fan though, this is the other area where the K70 Pro lacks. No wireless charging on board. Again, for the price point, not exactly uncommon. Now all the flagship specs do not stop with the hardware. Internally, Hyper OS on top of Android 14. Yes, the latest and greatest Hyper OS skin from Xiaomi Android 14, and the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. Yes, 
the latest and greatest Snapdragon chip with the Adreno 750 GPU, the Geekbench, Wildlife 3D Mark, all those scores are unbelievable in this, beating most flagships in terms of benchmarking scores. And with the 5000 mAh battery, you can game away to your heart's content, safe in the knowledge that if you do need to plug it in, go for a quick number two and your phone will be fully charged. Sorry to get vulgar there, but hey, we all do it. Now, as far as my personal experience putting my SIM card back in the last week, this is a Chinese ROM device. As far as I'm aware, still to this point, there wasn't a global release of the K70 Pro. I know if I'm wrong, you'll clip me in the comments. Thank you. But I have the Chinese ROM device. And with Xiaomi in particular, I firmly believe that the Xiaomi Chinese ROMs is the easiest to get your head around. For example, when I turn on the device from Factory Reset, I set up my phone, connect to Wi-Fi, go to the Xiaomi App Store, and for this device, simply search Google Play Store. You don't have to do an APK, you don't have to do any workarounds, you just search in the native Xiaomi App Store for the Play Store, and it's there. So as you can see on this device, the Play Store, and as you can also see, the full Google Play Store, I will also say, all apps that I have used so far, the main ones being Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, get notifications on time, every time. In some cases, the notifications come through before they do on my S24 Ultra. So absolutely no issues as far as notifications or functionality when it comes to Google Apps, with the only caveat being Android Auto and smartwatch connectivity. However, this has Xiaomi's CarPlay functionality. Yes, obviously, if you have a Xiaomi car, which is coming out soon, but no, any car, you should be able to connect your Xiaomi with the Android Auto device if you pop a cable in. And with the smartwatch, Xiaomi have a lot of quite good smartwatches that will pair and I also believe the Oppo Watch and potentially even the OnePlus Watch 2 will connect. I haven't tested that though, so don't take that as written in stone. Now for 99.9% .9 of you out there, you want your phone to have a big battery, decent enough cameras, and just work. That's what this phone does. And 99% of you out there don't want to have to spend £1,250 to get that from your device. You want to spend less than £500. And I mentioned the chipset inside, the gaming, the battery efficiencies, the software, HyperOS is fantastic. The photos and videos that I've shown you throughout this video as well, all come from a device that you can get from me now for £350. But even if you choose to buy new from companies like Gizstop and Wanda, I think they're about £450 just now. As I mentioned, 2024 started off super strong and with all these devices got stronger and stronger, but they've got more expensive as the year's gone on. The fact that this is still such a beast with up-to-date flagship specs for that price just mind-blowing. Now, as far as what's coming next on the channel, finally, some exciting news regarding the Vivo X Fold 3 and the X Fold 3 Pro. I promise to have content on the Vivo X Fold 3 this week and the X Fold 3 Pro next week. And if you still stayed tuned to this part of the video, a couple of other nice little surprises. The brand new global Xiaomi Pad 6S Pro, which I believe will probably replace my Samsung Tab S8 Ultra, will also be here this week. And next week, the Honor Magic 6 Ultimate. Yes, 
you heard correctly, can the ultimate version with slightly upgraded cameras do better than how the Magic 6 Pro did when I first tested and reviewed that device. Time will tell. If you haven't already and you want to see content on all these devices, please smash subscribe. Try and get me to 30,000 subscribers in 2024. You know I'm worth it. And if you've got to this part of the video, smash like. And I've not done this for a while, but the secret word, if you've made it to this part of the video, is budget. Comment budget down below. And until next time.